I could not imagine us getting a bill through the legislature that said we were going to ban alcohol flavors uh, because you know kids were more likely to utilize flavored alcohol versus you know straight corn moonshine. Uh, that that just didn't make any sense to me. And we know vaping is for many people a pathway a, away from traditional cigarettes. Uh, and, and so to me, it seemed irresponsible and was going to create public health outcomes that were to were, were uh, totally unacceptable to to force people to move to smoking. Not that, that we weren't going to ban vaping. We were only banning flavors of vaping. So we we're going to force them to only have traditional tobacco flavored vapes, which is something that many people just don't want to do. We know the, the British Journal of Medicine that says that vaping is 95% safer than smoking. Uh, and while it's not completely safe, and we would all agree that, that the best outcome is people kind of stop doing all of that, uh, for, for many people, and we understand this in the science of brain science here as well, is that when we're dealing with one addiction, the, the solution to that addiction is to transfer it to a less harmful uh, substance. And, and so I think that's what vaping is. It's, it's definitely a transition away from what we know is incredibly harmful. We know that people smoke for the nicotine, but they die from the tar. And vaping offers them the opportunity to have an alternative nicotine delivery device and not get the tar, which is what's killing them.